And welcome back to Charlottesville Insights. This is Jeff Gaffney, your host. We have on today Andrea Cerati McNeil, who is the marketing director out at Old Trail. And uh, just to put Old Trail on the map, again, we're talking Crozet, basically right across the street from Western Albemarle High School. One of the most gorgeous piece of property that, uh, that you'll find in all of Albemarle County. And the Bates Development Corporation is, has put together a, just an amazing development. It's been a tremendous success story in today's real estate market where you hear different parts of the country are having their challenges. We have Andrea McNeil on the program. How many homes have sold this year out in Old Trail? So far this year, we've sold 69 homes. Of those, 58 are all new construction. So we're on, on track to meet or exceed last year's record-breaking number. So last year, we had 72 sales. Wow. So we'll have a record-breaking party this year as well? I hope so. Yes, let's do it. I hope so. Uh, there's still time for any of our listeners out there. Uh, there's certainly still time to, to – bu- in fact, I have said all along, I was telling Joe Thomas this one day, the best time to buy a home is actually in the month of December. So a new construction, it, it, it maybe not, but in terms of buying a resale home, and the reason is that uh, oftentimes the seller in today's market, as you get into December, they're starting to think about taking the house off the market. Do they really want to have the house on uh, during the holidays, keeping the house clean, ready to show? And so if you come in and make an offer in December, oftentimes you're going to get the best deal. That's absolutely true. Talk to us about the builders back to Old Trail. Sorry, diverted there. Uh, the builders out in Old Trail. Who's building today out in Old Trail? Who we do we have, have? We have a wonderful builders guild. They range from you know production builders all the way through just you know one or two a year, completely custom home builders. Um, we have Craig Builders, of mm-hmm. course, has a wide range of products in Old Trail from single family detached homes in the Creekside area to gorgeous townhomes or this new cottage courtyard product called the Village Homes and these very attractive, very popular lakeside golf villas, which there's a few of those remaining, but out of the 13, seven went under contract in the first two weeks of their lakeside golf villa. So obviously there was some pent up demand for that product. Well, hold on, let me let me interrupt you on this for a second because I I want our listeners to really get this. If you are looking for one level living and I believe there's a maintenance package there as well. So it could be mm-hmm. one level maintenance free living. This is some of the best new product that I have seen ever built in the Charlottesville region. Absolutely. And you call it what are you calling it? Well we have village homes. We call them the village homes, and they are. They're right there near the village center. So not only do you have one-level living in these beautiful, beautiful, nicely appointed Craig homes, but you can walk to the coffee shop or walk to the gym. Right. Mm-hmm. So and Very then, convenient. And then Craig is also building uh, some amazing townhomes there yes. as well. I love those townhomes. They have more charm than um, most townhomes that you'll find mm-hmm. today, and inside – I always say they pack a punch. I mean, they've got a lot of space in there. They they've do. got garages. Mm-hmm. And what's the price range on those Craig Town homes, the Craig, roughly? The Craig Towns start in the mid twos. Actually, now they're more in the high twos by the time you finish off all your extra square footage. For example, I have one of those uh, Craig Town homes. We finished off a bonus fourth master suite on the first floor, which is the man room. And then we also finished off a flex space, which I use as a library. So we ended up with about 2,600 square feet. You let your husband have a man room? Absolutely. Oh, gosh, I'm so jealous. Absolutely. Okay, other builders. um, So you've got Craig out Mm -hmm. there, and, of course, they build anywhere from the um, townhomes to the attached product and then up to... Probably seven, eight hundred thousand dollar estate mm-hmm. homes. Absolutely. Who else is building? We also have Piedmont Realty and Construction. Yes, They're doing a, a wide range of houses from these smaller, really, really cute, um, well, well built, well designed uh, single family homes to larger ones in the Creekside area as well. Southern Development doing similar wide range of products, and all of these builders offer a high degree of customization. Even if you so, if you pick a plan that they offer, you can you can adjust it a lot of ways to have it suit. Peak Builders has a model now in Old Trail for the first time, which is very exciting. Excellent builder. Absolutely excellent builder. Um, he's been building all over, does a wide range of things. We also have Arcadia Builders. Domenico has been yes. doing some lovely custom homes in Upper Ballard that are really, really stunning. And if you're looking for something a little bit different. 
Uh-huh. It's not the same. His homes are not the same as everybody else's. There's a little no. kind of European flair, if you will, yes. if, you, if you walk into one of his yes. homes. And he also of, owns one of the businesses there? He does. He owns the Luca Cafe and Wine Bar, which is named for his son, Luca. But, oh. Yeah, so he, he is the live, work, play, and he also lives in Old Trail. He so lives in Old Trail. He lives in Old Trail. He builds in Old Trail, and he has a restaurant in Old Trail. He lives in Old Trail and has two jobs in Old Trail. Pretty much. Awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, and back to just a, a, another comment about Piedmont. Uh, Piedmont Realty and Construction, highly successful builder. Uh, they do a great job. They've really hit it out of the park this year in the terms of, of their home sales. Yes. Uh, so they do a great job. And then you have Southern Development, Frank mm-hmm. Balaf and his organization. Again, another very good builder. So you have some builders. In there. Well, it's no secret you're talking about the builders in Old Trail are some of the most successful in the Charlottesville region. So we kind of put two and two together there. Yes, it all, it all goes very well. We're very careful about the builders that, that we accept in Old Trail. There isn't really a limit. For example, if your Uncle Johnny wants to build a house for you, you know, as long as he's a Class A um, contractor and his plans are approved by our ARB, then Uncle Johnny can build your house. But we also have these really reputable Really fantastic builders in Old Trail. And uh, David Lambert is also cranking out some homes there, too. Lambert, David, yes. D- Lambert and Lane. He's got Excellent. a couple custom home projects going on right now. A great guy. And so it sounds like you have um, some selections out there from the production builders to the custom builders. And you come out there and, and see see which one you like. See, uh, you know, who's your, who suits your personality. Yes. And, and then, you know, build a, a home with today, with today's great, uh, mortgage interest rates. I, I can't recommend enough the idea of going out to Old Trail um, and looking at these homes because, again, you've got model homes today. If somebody wants to go out today and look at model homes, they can go out to Old Trail. Absolutely. And next weekend, on the 3rd and the 4th, is our holiday coordinated open house weekend. We've got pictures with Santa and all of our models' homes are going to be open. Um, you can learn more about that on the line at uh, oldtrailvillage.com. We're here with Open Andrea Serrati McNeil, and she's the marketing director out at Old Trail. We're going to try to get to one of your questions. Gabby, uh, down in Red Hill area, asks, I-, I need to sell my home in 60 days. What's the best way to do it? Uh, Andrea, I'm going to let you take a crack on that one first. Sure. First thing is consult with your realtor and make sure you um, price it appropriately for the market. Also, be sure that you stage the house a little bit. You know, make sure it's clean, you've touched up the paint, so that it really looks sparkles. Because if you're trying to sell in 60 days, you want it to be move-in ready. I, I, the only thing I would add to that is uh, not everybody agrees with this, but but my personal opinion is to go ahead and and hire a home inspector before you put the home on the market. And the reason is there are so many home inspections that are done today after the fact. And if you do a home inspection ahead of time, if there's something that needs to be fixed, you fixed it. You fix it before you put it on the market. If you wait till after you get a contract and you get one of these, I'm going to say it, one of these nitpicky home inspectors coming in, it can kill the, whole the deal. deal. Mm-hmm. We see more deals falling apart today by home inspectors and appraisers. We'll get to that another time. But I like to go ahead and take that objection off of the table, get it pre in, pre-inspected. Now, for all our listeners out there that are thinking about doing this, just keep in mind that the buyer is going to go ahead and get a home inspection done themselves, even though you've had one done. But if they, if, if the buyer's home inspector comes in and finds something, you have your home inspector who's certified it, and at least you can have that conversation. And I think that makes for a quicker sale. If the buyer knows that the home uh, ha- is free of any major defects, that helps move the process along right removes that anxiety which is really what holds up the process in home selling and then the only other thing i've said this on the show before when my wife and i sold our home years ago uh it was during this time of year it was right around thanksgiving and my wife was baking uh pumpkin bread uh when the buyers looked at the house and i am convinced that now my wife's she, she's a pretty good cook mm-hmm but when you have that smell oh, yeah. of home when you walk in, 
Um, I think that helped finish off the deal for us. Do, do you have an opinion on that? I absolutely do. In fact, we did an open house weekend in Old Trail when I first got out there back in 2008, and we baked cookies in all the homes that were open. So you got not only got a fresh baked cookie when you mm-hmm. came in to visit, but the whole house smelled like chocolate chips. Yummy. Well, we're again, I want to thank Andrea Cerati McNeil for being here. I want to thank all of our listeners on Thanksgiving weekend. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. We are so grateful to be living in the Charlottesville region. And thank you for listening to the show. And we'll see you next week on another edition of Charlottesville Insight.